வணக்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் தி யூனிட் ஒன் எஸ்டர்டே இட் செல்ஃப் த நியூ யூனிட் இஸ் யூனிட் டூ கிராப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் அண்ட் அக்ரிகல்ச்சரல் மீட்ரியாலஜி தி ஃபஸ்ட் சாப்டர் இஸ் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் அஃபெக்டிங் கிராப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் நார்மலி கிராப் க்ரோத் இஸ் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்ஸ்ட் பை இன்டர்னல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் த ஜெனிட்டிக் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் தி என்வரான்மெண்டல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் the external factors again divided into climatic adaptive biotic physiographic and socio economic factors in the case of internal factors the variety should be resistance to lodging tolerance to drought salinity flood pest and diseases and should have high yielding capacity and high chemical composition of grains in terms of oil and protein high quality of grain like the fineness coarseness as well as straw like sweetness juiciness the external factors the first one is climatic factors normally 50% of the yield is attributed by climatic factors the climatic factors are temperature relative humidity precipitation solar radiation wind velocity and atmospheric gases the precipitation that includes rainfall snow hail fog and dew in heavy and evenly distributed rainfall areas in plains rice is grown in higher elevations tea coffee and rubber are cultivated dry farming is very common in low and uneven distributed areas pearl millet sorghum minor millet and pulses are highly drought resistant varieties the temperature is nothing but the measure of intensity of heat normally the crop needs a temperature range of 15 to 40 degree celsius i have given the temperature for different uh, crops for rice the minimum temperature is 10 optimum is 32 and maximum temperature is 36 to 37 likewise i have given for wheat maize sorghum and tobacco the atmospheric humidity is nothing but the relative humidity it is the invisible water in air rh is the ratio between amount of moisture present in air and saturation capacity of air at particular temperature it is measured by thermohygrograph and psychometer the optimum rh for most of the crops range from 40 to 60% if high rh means there is a more outbreak of pests and diseases solar radiation measured in terms of photosynthetic active radiation and the normal for crop production is 400 to 700 nanometers what is phototropism phototropism is plant response to light direction the classical example is sunflower and what is photosensitive it is nothing but the season bound crop or varieties photoperiodism it is the plant response to day length if the day length is less than 12 hours that is a short day plant and if more than 12 hours that is long day plant no influence of day length is neutral plant the examples are rice sunflower cotton for short day barley oats carrot and cabbage for long day plant tomato and maize for day neutral crops wind velocity the main function of wind is to carry moisture precipitation and heat it is suitable wind movement is 4 to 6 km per hour the atmospheric gas the carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere is 0.0407% oxygen content is 21% nitrogen content is 78.8% carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis 
oxygen for respiration the crop or soil fixes nitrogen symbiotically by rhizobium bacteria and non symbiotic free living bacteria like cyanobacteria and astrobacter also fixes nitrogen n is also supplied by lightning and rainfall sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide methane chlorofluorocarbons are toxic to plants now the question hours what is the photosynthetic active radiation essential for carbohydrate production is the answer is 400 to 500 nm the oxygen content in atmosphere is about 20.95% that is the correct answer the best example for short day plant is rice associative symbiotic n fixer is azospirillum the third factor is edophic factors that is the soil factors the first one is soil moisture that is nothing but water it helps in chemical and biological activities of soil including mineralization it moderates soil temperature it regulates availability and mobility of nutrients and moisture is more in clay soil than in sandy soil soil air rice needs low level of oxygen due to water logging condition potato tobacco cotton linseed tea and legumes needs high oxygen the soil temperature it affects the physical and chemical process of soil it regulates absorption of water and nutrients soil mineral composition the sources of plant nutrients are calcium magnesium sulfur manganese iron and potassium soil organic matter it supplies major and micro nutrients it improves soil texture it increases water holding capacity of the soil it is also a source of food for micro organisms the soil organisms helps in decomposition of raw undecomposed organic matter and the soil organism play a major role in nitrogen fixation and the seventh factor is soil ph the nothing but the soil reaction uh, the ph from 3 to 7 is the acidity and the neutral ph is 7 and more than 7 is the alkalinity low ph of soil is injurious to plant due to high iron and aluminum toxicity the fourth major factor is biotic factors the biotic factors are the plants animals and the microorganisms whatever the inorganic carbon dioxide available in the atmosphere the plants are fixed with the help of solar energy and water in the name of photosynthesis so the plants are producers they are producers of biomass as well as food grains and whatever the plants produced is all consumed by the animals including human being human being and it uh, animals and other things they will excrete or the plants will drop the undecomposed raw organic matter that is also a organic carbon and in the soil most of the micro organisms are helps in degradation or decomposition of the organic matter so that the again oxygen nitrogen and minerals including inorganic carbon dioxide are released that reaches the atmosphere in all these process the the energy is being produced in photosynthesis atp is produced in the plant that is utilized for the plant growth and development and during the the, um, uh, the animal consumption and other things energy is also released for the uh, growth and development of the animals and during decomposition the energy is released oxygen is released by the micro organisms the plants it is a competition for moisture nutrient and sunlight and there are some plants which have complementary effect or synergistic effect 
in the case of legume if it are if they are grown in a cereals as yes, intercrop that will give nitrogen that is the mutual benefit and competitive crops the striga weed uh, in, in the sorghum and uh, sugarcane in the tobacco warabangi is the major problem and luzon cascata is the major problem animals the soil fauna includes protozoa nematodes snails and insects insects and nematodes causes crop damages honey bees and wasps helps in pollination of crops and the burrowing of earthworms helps in proper aeration proper drainage and proper decomposition of organic matter the large animals they cause lot of damage to crops example the classical example is animal grazing the physiographic factors and there are three types slope slope is that prevents the runoff of uh, precipitation the runoff of rainfall and altitude that is the height above sea level aspect that is the position of an area in relation to the sun and topography it's a nature of earth surface whether the soil or land is leveled and slope it increases the latitude the there is a there is a drop in the temperature and precipitation steep slope that favors runoff and loss of top soil especially the nutrients slope exposed to low intensity of light and strong wind results in poor yield socio economic factors that is also a, another important factor that is inclination towards farming the interest of the farmers to take up the farming is the major one and land holders choose only food and fodder crops and there is a non availability of resistant varieties for drought pest and diseases and the economic condition of the farmers and in the case of marginal medium and small farmers they find very difficulty in resource mobilization and question and answer synergistic effect is observed in cereals and legumes that is the optimum that is the correct answer crops requiring higher oxygen content is the option is both b and c and the cotton and legumes that is the correct answer low and uneven rainfall is a common in semi i am in the dry land farming with this we are completing the first chapter kindly subscribe my channel thank you very much